Hi everyone, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be tying, this is a, one of the top flies uh, on YouTube and one of the best sellers and a favourite of mine as well. Uh, it's one of these patterns that, uh, it's a midge pattern, tied with some of the well used and well tested materials like the originally called Flexi Floss. It's got that many names now, Stretch Floss and so on. And uh, it just makes for a fly. I remember when it first came out and uh, when I actually got a couple of samples, what would you do with that? And the first thing that came across my mind was tying a, a midge pattern. Just the, at the time, it was the right time and place for it. So I'm going to be tying this. This one's called the Redneck or the Cutthroat uh, Buzzer or Midge Pupa. Hook choice is up to yourself, but they're a good hook. And it, it goes with the colour of the fly, is the Fuller Mill. This is the, the Competition Heavyweight, but in the Black Nickel. You could use the standard colour, but it's normal bronze hook. Thread, I'm just going to use the UTC, ideal for buzzers, it's nice and flat, especially if you're going to be uh, using a resin or a varnish on it. So anyway, what we're going to do is quite simple, we start the eye, I usually go down about the thorax length and then remove the waist. Now the rib of the fly is a white flexi floss, so we basically catch a length on and then as we wind down, stretch it, it helps to keep it thin. It's much easier to tie some like this in the way down. And then we come straight back up. And the reason for the tail is it's much easier to cut and I'll show you in a second. Now basically what we do is we stretch it and then trim it away. And you get a neater cut if you do that. Now this is a highlight of red holographic up here. So you've got to make sure you've got enough room for that. Just before the thorax is about there. Now to rub the fly what you do is, got to remember you're going to be putting a resin on this which will protect it. But we start off tight. So the first three or so turns are really tight and then we start to slightly loosen off to help form like a taper. When we get to this point, it just depends on how heavy you want your fly. You can loosen off to suit yourself. Now there's sort of three turns or so there. Just the that's the area you're going to be tying the holographic tinsel on. So I'm just going to basically level that out. I'm using a red holographic tinsel, to be a small or a medium. Let's catch it. Basically come back down to where you caught in your white flexi floss and then come back up. Again, we're not, this is not holding the fly together, it's a colour or an aiming point. So we're just putting it on. The resin's going to protect it. A couple of turns to hold. Turn that away. Now I'm using this as a sunburst colour, uh, Flexus Floss. But what I'm going to do is take the thread up to the, uh, the eye of the hook. So all the way up. Just take a, I've got a length here. I just fold around about an inch around it and bring it up underneath the thread and then wind to the back. I wind down to the red holographic tinsel, keeping it underneath. There. They are. Now you could put a thorax cover on this, but this fly doesn't need it. It's got enough colour. So what I'm going to do is just build up the thorax a wee bit, so I got a nice taper. Just hold it out of the way, and uh, just think of a shape. You can get the shape with the resin as well. Now this, the UTC is a springy type thread, so I always like to put a wee half hitch just to stop it. If I let it go or bump the thread, it's not going to spring off. So that you can position your, these are your wing buds. So basically bring them on the top, hold both ends, with your right hand in this case. Just bring your thread over, just pull it tight and hold it nice and tight. And then basically make sure you've got a nice head. Tie, tie this in. Then you want a few turns in there because we're going to stretch, trim this away to get a neater cut. You may have a wee bit of hot, uh, sunburst colour at the bottom, but we can then just tidy this up with a few turns. And about finish. Trim that. Now, you could basically at this point you could varnish, super glue it, 
UV resin, you can do what I like to put a UV resin on and then a varnish and that seals it. We can highlight the wing buds a wee bit more. Uh, I've just got a sharpie pen here. And what we can do is just touch the underside of the, the uh, flexi floss. I'll give that time to sort of dry though. Just a wee blow. The sharpie pens dry quite quick. Permanent marker or anything like that, but as I say, just give it a second or so. Now you're looking for a, a light resin. Now I like to basically put it some on. I've got it on a wee tray there, so I just use my needle. So I squeeze out the bottle, and then I can highlight certain certain areas with the resin. So I can set it. A wee bit underneath here, just on the wing buds. So exaggerating certain points. Just allow that to, to set. All the way around. And then I go back to my resin and then I do the rest. So basically put it on and I scrape it from the top down. Basically put it, make sure it's around the head area. And then scrape it as I say to the along the body. I don't want to lose the 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 rub effect. If you feel you've got too much on, you can always take some off. Back of your nail. As long as you're coating it, because I'm going to put varnish on it anyway. So all I'm doing here now is just making sure it's on the, the head of the fly. When you're happy, then we can set it. If you can retake your vice, obviously it makes it easier. All the way around. Now give it a second or so. And then once you're happy, now I've got a clear varnish. So what we do is just, this is a very thin coat of clear varnish. This seals it. Run it down. Now it will look like it's filling up the rib. But once the, the varnish dries, it, it shrinks. There we are. And that's it. And that's your red neck or uh, cutthroat midge pupa. Great part. Top seller, as I say, it's one of the better flies for fooling bill. So uh, certainly worth tying yourself as well if you can. You can buy them from them.